beyond, my name is Colin Moriarty. I'm IGN senior editor. I'm in charge of our PlayStation coverage here at IGN. I'm also in charge of our JRPG coverage because I love them so goddamn much. Uh, a JRPG is coming to PlayStation 3 very soon. Um, you may have already seen our review on IGN or on YouTube, the video, the written. Uh, it's for Tales of Exilia 2 from Bandai Namco. Um, it's a special little game. I love the Tales series. Tales of Destiny in particular is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and this is the direct sequel to Tales of Exilia, which came to PS3 in uh, the West just last year. Uh, I want to unbox uh, the Collector's Edition for you now to show you what's inside of it uh, in case you're interested in picking it up for yourself. Um, it's a cool little uh, a cool little box, first of all. Uh, Bandai Namco does a really nice job, uh, I think, with special editions. If you remember the Tales of Exilia Collector's Edition, if you remember the Nino Kuni Collector's Edition, which is awesome and super rare, uh, if you even remember the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles uh, Collector's Edition, they always do a really nice job. Uh, for starters, I'll show you the, uh, the game itself. Uh, this is the box you'll get whether or not you get the collector's edition. Um, and uh, it's just a you know, nice little box, you know, normal disc. Now what's really cool about this, because uh, a lot of people complain about instruction manuals, I know I do, they, the instruction manuals are just not good anymore. They're, they're not meaty, they're not the ones that you would sit in the back of your mom's car when you come home from Toys R Us reading and pouring over. Um, but this instruction manual is all color, it's all really nicely done. It's, uh, let's see, it's like 50 pages long. Very, very long for an instruction manual these days. Very meaty. So there's the game itself, but let's go into the box, into the collector's edition and kind of figure out what's in here. Um, now, just as a warning, in case you haven't played uh, Tales of Exilia, the first one, you don't want anything to do with this game. This is a game, a direct continuation one year after the events of Tales of Exilia, so it's a huge spoiler for you if you just go in and play it by itself. You've been warned. So let's, let's put the big thing aside for now and uh, go into some of the smaller stuff. So for starters, we have uh, the, the steel case. Um, now the steel case is kind of cool. It has uh, two spaces, one for your game, and actually it's got a soundtrack as well, um, or the music selection as it's called here. So you can kind of put that on your shelf if you want to replace uh, the plastic box. It's very nice. It's got a picture of uh, Ludger, the main uh, character, and L, his companion, and then all the cast from the original Exilia that you know: Mila, Jude, Alvin, Rowan, etc., and so on. Um, you'll also get uh, some collector's edition DLC. Um, and this will come in the form of a voucher. Um, and let's see what you get here. This package includes the Tales of Exilia 2 special custom theme for your PS3 and a classic Tales of costume set that includes a set of attachments based on classic Tales of characters. So that's kind of cool. So you have that as well. Now, I think one of my favorite things, or perhaps my favorite thing that comes in this uh, collector's edition is uh, a little stuffed animal, Rolla the cat. Now, lots of familiar characters, places, locations, all that kind of stuff in Tales of Exilia 2, but one of the new characters is a cat. His name is Rolo and he's awesome. And you actually do this thing called Kitty Dispatch in the game where you send your cats all over the world to find items for you. It's very cute. Uh, he's an amazing character. He's basically Elle's companion. Um, and so that's probably the favorite, my favorite thing in the entire package. Rolo. This is kind of neat. Put this on your bookshelf. This is the art of Tales of Exilia 2. Um, as you know, Bandai Namco and the Tales Studios guys always make beautiful art for their games. It's always consistent. It always looks like it's all from the same world. Um, so this is, uh, you know, what you can expect uh, when you get the Collector's Edition, kind of a look at all the different characters. Julius Kresnik is the brother of Ludger, by the way, in case you're curious. Um, these are some of the new characters. Then you'll find uh, some familiar characters. Alvin, basically everyone from the original Tales of Exilia is in this. And of course, the most important character of all, Rolla. <coughs> Keep on going. We have a little something in this box. Let's see what it is. Nice little Tales of Exilia 2 box. Maybe if you're proposing to your to your girlfriend, uh, you can replace the ring box with this beautiful Tales of Exilia 2 box instead um, and have a really nerdy proposal. But if not, we'll open it up and we'll see. It comes with a little bag. I think we know exactly what we're gonna get here. And basically, we have ourselves uh, the pocket watch from the game. And this is kind of cool. Let's see if we can open it up. Oh, well, it comes with a little glossy thing on it. It's got Tales of Exilia 2 em em embroidered or uh, I guess carved into it on one side. And on the other is the symbol. And I'm not going to spoil it for you because I assume you haven't played the game yet. Uh, but this is a an essential item in the game. And it's basically just a little kind of, kind of a little compact thing with a little mirror in it. That's kind of cool. And it comes with a little bag so you can take good care of it if you so desire. And then finally, Perhaps the thing you must be most excited about is uh, a little action figure of Ludger Kresnik, the uh, main character in the game. And you might recall that there was a similar uh, special edition for Tales of Exilia, the first one that had Mila uh, Maxwell, the main character in that game, who's also in this game. Um, 
in there as well. So you can, these are actually, I think, dimensionally the same, and you can actually put them together on your shelf if you want to display them. All right, so we finally ripped the box apart to get to Luger. Is there more tape? No, I don't think there is. So we get rid of these little pieces of plastic. So he's already on a stand. He's just covered in some plastic to protect him. And there's Luger with his dual blades, his tie. I like how his tie's coming out a little bit. He's a really cool character. I'm a little disappointed that he's a silent protagonist. I'm not really into that. In JRPGs, that's a very old school thing, and it's not super common, actually, in Tales. Um, but not that it's unprecedented, but uh, you know, when you when you just come off of Tales of Exilia with two protagonists that talk quite a bit, it's a little bit jarring. But he is a really cool character, and you experience everyone else's stories kind of through him. So um, you can display him on your shelf, maybe next to your Mila Maxwell figure, or maybe your drippy action figure, or your drippy uh, stuffed animal, I should say, from you know, Kuni. So let's uh, recount everything that we get in the collector's edition for Tales of Exilia. First of all, comes in this box right here. You get the uh, you get the uh, Luger Kresnik action figure, which is very cool. You get the pocket watch uh, carved with Tales of Exilia 2. It comes in a bag and a box in case you want to do anything with that. You get the all important, super important roll of stuffed animal. You get the art book, Tales of Exilia 2 art book. You get the collector's edition DLC, which includes the theme and some costumes, etc., and so on. You get a steel case with a soundtrack in it and an option to put this, the game in on the other side if you want to have this adorning your shelf instead. And of course, you get the game itself, Tales of Exilia 2, which is only on PlayStation 3. So you're gonna, if you moved on to PS4, you're going to have to plug your PS3 back in. And this won't be the last Tales game. Tales of Zestaria uh, will be coming to PS3 next year, so keep that PS3 handy. Um, so that's everything for Tales of Exilia 2's Collector's Edition. Uh, make sure to tune in to IGN for our review and video review and more impressions of the game. Um, it's really pretty great, and I think that people that, uh, that enjoy Tales of Exilia are really going to enjoy this game as well. Um, it's, it's rare to get a direct sequel to a game you love um, that takes place in the same world with the same characters, um, in the JRPG genre anyway, and so I think that that's pretty exciting. Uh, so for more on all things PlayStation, all things Tales, all things JRPGs, keep it tuned to IGN.